Hello my lovely friends! Today I will be doing the Draw This In Your Style challenge hosted by Avis because when I saw it, I immediately knew I had to draw it. So please, Avis is an amazing artist and if you don't know her, check out her Instagram now. I usually prepare this sketch digitally first and then we draw it on a piece of paper or other material. For this project it will be a wooden panel so for the redrawing I need carbon paper with wax. I printed out the drawing, applied the carbon paper to the wood with the wax down and over this I applied the previously made sketch which I secured with washi tape to prevent movement. So I started redrawing. The fun fact is that I once read you a very large drawing this way and realized at the end that I had put the carbon paper back to front. I didn't expect that I could do something like that. I felt like a fool. The main character today will be played by do -do 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 gouaches. They aren't such a normal gouache because they are a Holbein acrylic gouache. They are very opaque paints and have been my main medium for painting for a long time. I own two sets of paints, so a total of 48 colors plus I have an even bigger tube of white paint because I use this color the most often. The coming event includes 56 colors of Chinese water-based Himimiya gouaches, which means that they activate with water. Any contact with water can spread them out. And yeah, I don't feel very confident painting with these gouaches because of this, so I only use them to create a line art and that's all. Since these are water-based gouaches, a useful tool is a water diffuser. I spray all the paints heavily with water before use, so this allows me to keep them in a jelly consistency all the time. With a kneaded eraser I pulled off the excess wax so that it wouldn't spread with the paint. I chose the paint colors I needed, got the brushes ready. I don't know why I brought out so many when I used maybe three of them and a palette to mix the paints. So now we can start painting and finally talk about draw this in your style challenges. What is it actually and where did it come from? To put it simply, this is an art challenge where artists draw an already existing drawing or painting but with the difference that in their own style. Artists who decide to host their Draw This In Your Style challenge most often create a hashtag under which people can share their versions of the artwork and explain the rules that apply to taking part in the challenge. They explain what is allowed or not. Rules most often apply time limit because many artists announce the price among participants. Usually it is a random draw, but there may be a selection of the best or several best artworks. However, there are some drafts in your style challenges that have no limit time and are just based on fun. Now many people don't allow the use of AI which is right and of course don't allow the complete tracing of the drawing. Usually there are no restrictions regarding tools, it can be a traditional or digital drawing also. Everything is explained in the description of the challenge, usually under the post. You have to remember, be sure to read the artwork's description because it often happened to me that my participants weren't considered for a prize because they didn't follow rules, mm, they tagged me wrong or they didn't follow me, so that just happens. 
When you will be posting your artwork, you should include the artist's hashtag that is associated with the draw of this in your style challenge. This kind of challenge started somewhere in 2018. I found that the original creator of the Draw This In Your Style challenge is Marine Vernes, who is character designer. I don't know how to read her name properly, so now it will be displayed on screen. If I am right, a year later there was this type of challenge which I think you have seen on the internet at least once. I'm talking about Sailor Moon Draw This In Your Style, which involved redrawing one scene with character of Usagi from the anime Sailor Moon. The fact is that uh, despite so many years, this challenge still doesn't lose its popularity and it doesn't look like this is going to change. Some people are doing Drop This In Your Style events to celebrate their milestones like number of followers. They can also make them seasonally without any specific occasion. Let's talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of this challenge because there's a lot of benefits but also some negative things, I think. First, let's talk about the pros. It can bring attention to your social media profiles. The rules benefit both the host and artists. The host usually receives the majority of benefits especially if they require participants to be followers. If the host has a large social media following, this can be... Um, this can benefit participants by helping them reach a wider audience. For example, the host will share the work of all entrants on his Instagram story before the set deadline or a place in the host's art gallery will be given to the best entries. That's not all. The entrant with the best artwork will win a prize, which could be a, an art print, a commission from the host, money or something else. Participating in a Drop This In Your Style challenge is an amazing opportunity to increase your audience and showcase your artwork among a pool of other talented creators. Many contest organizers are well-established art influencers with a loyal following and being mentioned or given a shout out by one of these artists can bring a lot of attention to your work. On platforms such as Instagram on, or maybe threads, artists often create hashtags for art challenges, which they can use to tag their work. Other users uh, can browse works in the hashtag, allowing for a gallery or collection of all the related works. This exposure is particularly beneficial for new or less followed artists by labeling and associating their artwork with a known or popular challenge artists increase their chances of being seen by a wider audience so why not take the chance and enjoy the fun secondly the Draw This In Your Style challenge is really good to realize you have your own style. When creating your artwork, it's a good idea to focus on what makes your artistic style unique. Don't forget that your art is a reflection of you and your creativity. Make sure this shines through. You should never be afraid to deviate from the original composition and experiment with different techniques or mediums to create a truly unique piece as far as the rules of the challenge allow. 
These challenges are the opportunity to develop your artistic style and the chance to experiment with different color palettes and compositions, so you won't get bored creating more artworks. If you are feeling stuck with your art or if you are experiencing an art block, creating more artworks for these challenges can be really helpful. If you have no idea what you should draw, then I assure you that you will find a huge number of draw this in your style challenges on the internet that will give you lots of ideas and motivation. Despite the many advantages, this type of challenge also has it disadvantages. Some of the disadvantages of this approach include the risk of copying the original artwork too closely, becoming too dependent on the challenge for inspiration and the potential for the challenge to distract from the creation of original artwork. You can enjoy the drop this in your style zone for as long as you like because it's addictive. It's nice to not to have to worry about what to draw, but it's important to remember that if we focus only on these challenges for a long period of time, our creativity can be stifled. Then you realize that you haven't created anything yourself for months. You know, too much is not good. There are so many draw this in your style challenges and sometimes you can feel overwhelmed by the number of challenges that you can do all you want, especially when they have some sort of deadline. I know from myself that I have taken a million screenshots on my phone of different challenges and I can't make them all. What's more, if you make a living from your art, the final illustrations may not be of much use to you. The content you create can only be posted and cannot be added to a portfolio or sold without permission. If you wish to sell it, you have to ask for artists' permission first to be considerate. Draw this in your style is an amazing opportunity for artists to connect with each other, showcase their individuality and draw inspiration from an art community. Taking part in challenges is an amazing way to try out our skills, so why not give it a try and see where your imagination takes you? It would be enough for today's video. Remember to like and subscribe my channel. Bye!